So here we have 6.4 square root addition or subtraction with three terms now. So again, these are not like terms right now. So we're going to go ahead and break up 45. That is 5 times 9, which is 3 times 3. So we have a pair of 3's. This 3 is the same. The pair of 3's inside the square root and then the leftover prime that is just 5. Here, 5 is a prime, so that cannot be broken up any further. And then 20, I can take that as 5 times 4, which is 2 times 2. So the pair is the 2's. And then you still have this prime left over on the inside. So these are going to cancel. I'm going to have 3 times 3 with the square root of 5. This is still just 2 square root of 5. And then the last term will be minus just a 2 square root of 5. So before I can combine them, I do have to actually multiply those together. So I get 9 square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 5 minus 2 square root of 5. Now be careful here. Yes, these do cancel, right? 2 square root of 5 positive and then a negative, they do cancel. So I will end up with a 9 square root of 5. But be very careful because sometimes there's other things happening and just make sure you go left to right. If I were to go left to right, I would have 11 square root of 5s. And then if I take away two of those square root of 5s, I still end up with 9 square root of 5. Okay? Remember that when you're adding and subtracting, you should go from left to right.